here. So let's go to the palm. The palm works just like the peony, but with the difference that it has tails. Here on the tail menu, you can choose when it's going to start. It can be at zero, which which I use a lot. You can put uh, thirty percent, any percentage you want. Where it ends, it can end very soon or late. I usually use 86% here you can choose the density how much uh, how many sparks you want for example 250 it's going to look like this but you can put one it's going to be like little dots on the sky normally I use 110 to make a realistic the width it's uh, the exposure right um, here see if you can notice the difference very nice this is very cool to use on comments normally I use around two on this area here. you can choose the color gold uh, orange red any color you want here is how um, how long the sparks are going to are gonna burn right I normally use two seconds but you can put uh, 14 so it's gonna stay a lot of time on the sky Here's the variance of this burn duration of the sparks. You can add strobe, which is the same concept of the, the strobe on the start. You can add crackle, which is uh, a little bit of noise. You know what noise I'm talking about here. Very nice. Uh, and FWC recently added. Um, realistic tails take a look those tails uh, if you update it uh, or bought FWC in the newest version uh, it will be already on the simulator you don't even need to create them here we have brocade short I'm gonna show you some of these tails This is an explosion spark. Very nice. It looks like a, a little bit of smoke, right? Uh, we have the gold ones that I use a lot on my shows now. Uh, and there's their variations, right? We have the mortar sparks that are from comets and mines. The same logic. We have silver. And their variations. Very nice. So that's all for palms. Let's see another one. Uh mine. This is a mine. The explosion is the same thing. And the stars are also the same thing with this different mine width. This tool explains the diameter of the mine, if you can say it like that. Look. Normally I use uh, 4 degrees here, or 6 degrees, depending on the type you want to, to use. You can add tails, crosset, everything you want, just like the peony. Uh, shell of shells, which is a multi break explosion here this first uh, gap named explosion is the the first one the first explosion then you have the shell of shells you can edit here 
how many explosions you want after the second explosion. It's a little bit confusing, but with practice you can understand. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna put here 12. You can change their distribution. Uh, what else? The same things as a peony. And here it is. And here is the area for the second explosion. You can change, change uh, how many seconds you want it to explode. Their energy. And here is like just like the peony. One thing that I forgot to explain to you in the peony area is that you can choose here turbillon, which is this what for me reminds of a sponge on very nice there is a very similar one called far fail I don't know how to pronounce it sorry I honestly don't see the difference I and you have whistle which is very similar but with that whistle <laughs> sound look very nice so that's it for shell of shells and now let's go to the roman candle it is a fountain but without tails here you can choose the launch velocity i recommend that you put zero because on the other ones it is failing look so only use at zero right and the diameter is going to be the size of it In the eruption, eruption menu, you, you can choose their duration, the speed, and the warm-up time, which is how long uh, it takes to start launching up the stars. I normally use zero to start, uh, so it can start on the on the first second. And here is the stars menu, which is the same thing as the, the mine menu. Uh, waterfall shell. To be honest, uh, it is only a, a configuration for a palm or a peony. But with ex an e explosion energy very low and with a long lifetime, so it falls down like a waterfall. This is a very pretty effect. So there's nothing different here, we can say like that. The salute shell, shell it's only a blast. You can choose the how strong this is, for example. Usually salute shells are like this. And they're used in the endings of the shows. What else do we have? Uh, fountain is the same thing as the Roman candle, we have the sun. The sun, also called Catherine Will, you can choose the radius, you can choose the burn duration of the sparks, right? And you can change uh, actually the burn duration, how, uh, how long this, this wheel is gonna keep spinning, okay? And you can choose the speed. It goes really fast at 100. It's a very simple uh, feature. We have the comet. The comet is the same thing of the the mine, but with the difference that you can just like the peony, as I forgot to say, you can choose the uh, how large the 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 star is. For it to look more realistic, I use X large. And you can change the tail, just like a palm. And something that I f forgot mentioning when I made the, the shells was the ascent star here, which is this little dot that go up in the sky and then explodes. And the ascent effect, which is the tail that comes uh, right behind it. And I, it didn't explode because it didn't add an explosion, <laughs> okay? But when you are, you are making a peony, it, it's going to fade away and then explode, okay? Uh, and I, what I believe is the... Oh, no, no, I forgot the bangle flame. The bangle flame is very simple to edit. It's only a dot. 
that you can put on buildings or even on the ground and you can uh, change how long it's going to be burning and you can change the color and if you want it to be twinkling it's a very nice feature if you uh, if you want for example like I do put lighting on the London knife for example and the last part here on this tutorial is the cake the cake is the type of fireworks that detonates a lot of fireworks from only one point for example I'm gonna add here from one of the the effects that come with FWC um, let, let me see uh, here this mine silver here here it is on this menu you can edit for example how how many of these you want to detonate 10 it's going to detonate 10 in a row uh, here you can change the interval uh, between the explosions for example you can put 0 so they are going to be launched at the same time or you can choose the interval um, as much as you want Here on the shape area, you can choose, as it says, the shape of the cake. For example, the Z shape, it's like this. The W shape. And the V shaped out double. I never used that one. I already used Z and W shapes uh, and here you can choose the angle for example if you put uh, 60 degrees it's gonna be like this and you can choose how many shots you want for example let's put here 11 see and you can uh, you can add more effects different effects uh, let's see here let's remove this one we're gonna add uh, a yellow comet it's going to start at 45 degrees it is yellow as you can see but I want to add on the second shoot the same comet but with another color yes you can do that here uh, you select the same the same effect and change its color this is very nice if you want to create rainbow fireworks I already made one so you can see for example cake colorido it's a colorful cake I use the names in Portuguese <laughs> here see it looks like a, a rainbow firework very nice on this software you can <laughs> create <laughs> every type of fireworks imaginable here we have the interval variance and the inaccuracy of individual shots this only works if you use uh, if the interval is not zero okay uh, this function go is going to determine if the intervals are going to variate or not simply as that okay so I believe that's it for the first part that I explain everything about the fireworks editor I don't think I, for I forgot anything let me check yeah there's nothing here to, to explain to you about the fireworks editor here's the, the, the menu where you can create a new copy the current firework that you're editing you can open save it rename change the type or exit here you can play play from the beginning you can copy everything you can here show the the dimensions which is very nice you can see uh, how high it goes and here is the the help that it's going to 
take you to FWC's website, okay? I hope you enjoyed this first part. On the second video, I'm going to show you how to create your own shows, talking about positions, camera moves, music, uh, and every every tool that I use to create create my recreations. Lol. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if you something that I said may be a little bit confusing, but I hope. I helped you to create better FWC shows, okay? Bye guys, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and wait for the next recreation which is going to be the very much asked London Fireworks 2020 remake, remake okay? Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next part, bye!